Some people really love their life to sit around and fuck off. When I sit around and fuck off, I don't like me. My, my whole life, I was convinced, when I was a young man, I was convinced I was a loser. Absolutely convinced. Until I started getting really good at martial arts, I never thought I was good at anything. I just had a, a very low self-esteem. And I was limiting myself by what I thought were other people's opinions of me. Um, this is when I was a really young kid. And I didn't figure this out until I was like in my 30s. But I think that you, you absolutely can be limited by your perceptions of someone's definitions of you. But you can break through that stuff. That is, that's what you break through with discipline. You, that's where you break through with hard work and concentration and focus. And that's why it's so important to have like either a discipline or an art or something that you're trying to create or something that you're really focusing on. Because if you don't have like a point of focus as a human, I think it's very hard to get through this life and have an appreciation for, for true struggle. Because our physical struggle with what our bodies are designed for, the caveman of 10,000 plus years ago, our bodies are still designed for that. That physical struggle doesn't really manifest itself when you're sitting in front of a cubicle, you know, in front of a computer in a cubicle in this unnatural position all day. I think the whole, the whole situation is very confusing for the human body and we don't get the tests that we need in order to have what you would call personal sovereignty. So you gotta impose those tests on yourself. Your life would feel better and richer if you had a goal, you chase that goal, you accomplish some things, and you would get this boost of confidence, you'd get this boost of self-esteem, like whatever it is that you're into doing. Maybe you're into drawing comic books, maybe you're into uh, making pottery or sculptures, or but find whatever the f that is and pursue that instead of doing nothing. Like the people that are doing nothing, doing something might be as simple as like that Alex Honnold guy. He just climbs rocks, but he's world-class rock something, climber. Though. It's something. You don't truly appreciate relaxation unless you've worked hard. Mm. And that is the yin and the yang of life. And I've said this to, to the point of people getting sick of it, but one of the worst decisions a man can make, I can only speak for men, obviously, um, is to be comfortable. Mm. I, I don't think you should try to be comfortable. I think what you should try to do is try to earn comfort. Mm. And if you, if you can get a day off where you, you, you've worked hard and you've, you've accomplished goals, that day off will be so sweet. When I work hard and I sit in front of the TV, I enjoy the shit out of it. I put my <laughs> feet up, I have a nice drink, you know, I, I enjoy yeah, my free time. That... I'm more of a workaholic than I should be probably. If, if the, the balance was, I probably should relax more than I do, but I never feel like I earned it. But that's part of the reason why when I do feel like I earned it, I can enjoy it. It's because I am more connected to the idea that I need to to accomplish things mm. and to and, and it's not, not like for anybody else's benefit other than my own or anybody else's approval other than my own I just when I have a task whether it's uh, I today I'm gonna write a thousand words you know or 2,000 or whatever the number is if I don't do that I don't I'm not I write things down like I'll write down a list of things that get accomplished that day and if I don't accomplish that I'll get sick like I'll it'll drive me crazy if mm. i can't fill out that list that drives me nuts you know but that's what led me to be a championship level martial artist mm. that's what led me to achieve the it's the reinforcement of those goals like understanding that the, you can achieve those goals it's going to be difficult you're going to push through the difficulty and then you're going to understand what difficulty truly is and how much of it is just mental how much of it is just in your mind this adversity to to uh, difficult task or to struggle you know, and a lot of people have that. They're scared. They're scared of, of complications. They're scared of, of failure. Failure is a big one that people are afraid of. But failure is one of the most important things you could ever have as far as like the motivation to do things differently. Mm. One of the reasons why I think that I'm good at friendships and relationships is because I've failed at them in the past. One of the things that I'm good at comedy is because I've bombed on stage. One of the reasons why I'm good at work is because I've been a shitty worker in the past and I know the, the feeling of failure, the feeling of, uh, of shame, of being like a weak, non-motivated, lazy person. It's a weak feeling. It's mm. a, you don't respect yourself. You know, and I have this phrase that I use all the time to people to, to try to motivate people. I say that 
be the hero in your own movie. Pretend that if mm. your life was a movie and your life started now, what would the hero do? What would the person that you respect do? What would the person that you admire, the person that inspires you, what would they do? Well, do that. <laughs> and if you do that, you slowly build momentum. You like, today I did what I wanted to do. Today I started a class in yoga. I did this. I did all these things that I was saying I wasn't going to do. And now I feel momentum. And yeah. momentum is a very important point in people's lives. That's why some folks don't like to take days off because they feel like they're losing momentum and they sort of have to restart the wheel up again after a vacation. Before I was successful, I realized it was stupid. Long before. Um, because when I was like an amateur, I would see guys that were killing and, uh, and I'd be like, Kim, like, why is he doing good? Like, that guy sucks and this guy sucks and, you know, why, how come he got this and he got that? And then I remember thinking, like, this is a gigantic waste of time. And I got into comedy because I'm a fan of comedy. And my concentrating on people that suck or being jealous about people that are doing well does me zero good. But instead, if someone does well, I can be inspired and I can get fired up by it. I mean, I figured this out in my early 20s. I was like, okay, this is a, yep. I have a poor way of looking at it because it's a, a martial arts thing. Because in martial arts, like you can't be jealous of someone else's ability. You have to realize you might have to fight them someday. So by realizing that they're really good, you, you're forced to be objective about it and you have to go to work. Like you have to go, that guy's better than me. I got to get better. And you have to go to work. You right. Can't, you, there, you, there's no, there's no positive benefit in underestimating someone. The one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. If you have more success, and sometimes a, a big part of success is just not being f lazy and just doing it. Yeah. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that if, that actually gets good at something. That you you get there's got to be those days you push through, and they're they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't. And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline I get things done. I always tell my I always say that I'm like the most lazy disciplined person I know because I don't want to do it. Yeah. But I always do. A bunch of people that will say, yeah, well, I have a family. So, you know, it's a great idea for you to just go out there and go crazy. I have people to support. You need to listen. Stop saying that. Stop saying any of those things. Every single person who has ever done anything worthwhile or exceptional or difficult or extraordinary, anyone, whether it's great artists or authors or mathematicians or whatever the f it is everyone encounters difficulties there is no easy road it does not exist it is impossible everyone has issues if you have time to pursue a hobby if you have time to do anything in your life you can better yourself and here's one way you never better yourself when you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not that sh is f dangerous when you give yourself an escape yeah well that's easy for you to say you know you do this you do, 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 do. And to tr trust me everybody has a hard road I wanted to jump out a window several times during my young life I wanted to jump in front of a f train and just end it because it's too much pressure not really but you know what I'm saying theoretically we all go through hard times we all go through depression we all do go through doubt and then and, and moments in your life where it's really f difficult and you're trying to figure out what the f your path is going to be it's hard as sh but Stefan and I were talking about this before the podcast starts that that is what makes you a person and those difficult moments are what build your character show me a great man who's the son of a great man you know that's what we're saying these kids that are born billionaires you're you're never going to be a self-made person you have a backup trust for your backup trust for your trust and you're man the, the most important thing is always for all people to recognize that you're not who you were a year ago you're not who you were five years ago you're not who you were last week you're who you are now and this is the only sh you have control over so you got to regulate how much you dwell on regrets of the past you really no got to be careful because it's good to have a little 
because my regrets, whether it's things of professional nature or, or the very few regrets friendship wise, which is one thing that makes me very happy. Um, but you know, there's, there's life is strange. There's a lot going on. There's, a, there's a lot of factors happening in life, but for sure who I am now wouldn't have ever happened if I didn't fuck up. If I didn't make those mistakes, I wouldn't have understand the importance no of friendship and kindness. And if I di hadn't been cruel at some point in my life or someone hadn't been cruel to me, I wouldn't understand the beauty of love. I, I would have to, I wouldn't understand the full range of it because I hadn't felt the sting. If nobody ever punches you in the face, you don't really appreciate safety. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even understand what safety is. You could say, oh, we're safe, we're safe, but you are so not safe at any moment. You know, and when someone's punched you in the face a bunch of times and you've been in a street fight with some guy you barely knew, you've gotten in an argument with, there's something about regular safety that's sweeter. Yeah. It's more delicious. Yeah. It's more delicious. It's, it's way better to drive your car straight after you almost lost control on a turn. Like, and then you get back straight, you're like, whoa. Sure. I'm not saying that you should go sideways around corners. What I am saying is that there's a fucking yin and a yang to this world, man. And you gotta fuel yourself with the fuck ups. And most people get stuck in these patterns because they define themselves as a fuck up. Or they define themselves as a person who doesn't follow through on their ideas. Or a person who doesn't pursue their real interests and loves. But you define yourself by that. Well, you know, I guess when I start things and I quit. No, you don't. No, you have started things and you quit. And it gives you a horrible sense of regret that's made you define yourself by that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that.